Hello, my name is Dwayne Dorch, and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of our video series on edge workers. In this video, we'll show you how to get started debugging your edge workers code. Let's start with the standard debug headers. An HTTP header is a field of an HTTP request or response that passes additional context and metadata about the response or request. For example, we commonly use request headers in a request for media content, for example, to indicate the preferred media format, while a response header can be set to indicate the media format of the return body. Since edge workers are based on HTTP requests and response events, we can use headers to pass information about their execution. And we do this through Akamai Pragma headers. Here's a list of Akamai Pragma headers that, if set during the edge worker request, will return important information about the execution of the edge worker. The link to this information in the edge worker documentation is included in the description below. Let's take a look at a few of these debug headers in action using the Hello World edge worker we created in a previous video. One way to set request headers is using a browser plugin like Mod Header. Let's take a look at how I've set the Pragma header in Mod Header. You can see that my Pragma header includes Akamai X EW Debug, which returns debug information for the four main edge worker event types. Also, Akamai X EW Debug Subs, which returns status information on all event handlers when an HTTP sub request is made. And Akamai X EW Debug RP, which returns information about the execution of the response provider event handler. Now let's review our Hello World Edge Worker. As you can see, this Edge Worker includes two events, the on client request event which logs a message and returns some HTML output, and the on-client response event, which also logs a message and sets a response header. Now let's execute this edge worker and examine the output. When I make a request to my edge worker page, I can examine the response headers on the network tab of DevTools. As I select the Hello World request, I can see the resulting response headers in the header section. The Akamai X EW debug header shows the results of the two events that were called in the edge worker. There's a response header for both the on client request event and the on client response event. And that information includes the edge worker ID, the version number, the edge worker name, and the execution status, which is success in this case. Also note the X Hello World response header that was set in the on client response function of the edge worker. You can also execute your edge worker from the command line using the curl command. And in this example, I'm passing the pragma header using the minus H flag of the curl command. And we can see the resulting output. So as you can see, Akamai Edge Worker Pragma headers allows us to obtain important information about the execution of our edge workers. Be sure to check out the next video on enhanced debug headers that allow you to obtain even more debug information. Thanks for watching. See you next time.